All right, so I'm flying rubber power with RC, rudder only, and I thought I'd give you a little update on my uh, RC system that I'm using here, okay? So I'm still using the Spectrum AR400. This is a full range receiver, so you don't have to worry how far the plane gets. It's 2.4 gigahertz, so I don't have to worry about interference. And, uh, you know, I'm perfectly happy with this receiver. I think it works great. It weighs about 5.7 grams total weight, okay? Now for the servo, I'm using a Diamond D47, all right? What I like about this servo is it really has a high torque. It's about 15 ounces per inch, whereas the other one I was using is a little bit lighter, but it only has four ounces per inches of torque. And I've noticed for the larger planes, at least, for like the Wakefields and the old timers, you really need that extra power, okay? Now this, with the wire, weighed about 4.9 grams, so it's pretty light. Then I have a JR Micro Switch, all right? This whole little assembly here adds about two grams. Okay, I have a little uh, E-Flight plug on the end that I just soldered. And uh, just to show you here, basically what I do is I bite this. This is uh, for a battery adapter. It's got six of them on the end. And then I just cut them off and I can use them as I need them here, all right? Now the total weight of this whole thing, as you see it sitting right here, is 12.9 grams, so that's not too bad. It's really lighter than what I had before, even though of course I'm, I'm open to suggestions. All right. Now I've also been experimenting with the battery, so here's the one I was using for several years. This is a 150 milliamps, okay, a single LiPo here, and this weighed about 4.1 grams, so it's not bad. However, I noticed, you know, I had a couple times where the, tr uh, the plane was hanging in a tree uh, for like six hours and the system was on the whole time and when I checked it when I brought it home, it was still fully charged. So I think we got more than enough with that battery, so I've been looking for a little smaller and lighter. Here's the one I've been using lately. This is 70 milliamps, all right? It's a little bit smaller and more compact. A uh, nice part about this is it only weighs 2.6 grams, okay? So when you fully charge the LiPos, they're up to about 4.2 volts. And I've noticed after a full day of flying with the altimeters and everything else, this still had a charge of about 4 volts. So I'm looking for even smaller batteries. And here's what I've been trying lately. This is 30 milliamps. All right, it's hard to see, but it's incredibly thin and compact. So it's really, really nice. Uh, the other nice part about it is it only weighs 1.4 grams. All right. So I've tried this in my full system there, and uh, it looks like I've had a full day of flying. I come home, I check the charge, it's 3.8 volts. So I think I'm gonna, I just wanna try this a few more times, and then I think I'm gonna change all my planes and go to this incredibly small battery. Now, thanks to some discussions at Hip Pocket Aerodrome, I've also been using altimeters. So let me show you that. This is one of them. This is called the Ram 3. I've got it wrapped up here. You can go online to see it. It's by Soaring Circuits, it's called the Ram 3, and this is really, really nice. The nice aspect of altimeters is you can see exactly how long the flight was, exactly how high you got, what your climb rate was, uh, what your sink rate is, it's fantastic. It's really helped me trim the planes, okay? Uh, it just plugs into the receiver and then you can upload the data. They have really nice software actually, and uh, you know, it was perfectly compatible with Windows 8.1, I didn't have any problems. So this is a really, really nice altimeter and I've been using this in most of my planes. Now another one I've been using is usually called the Hobby King altimeter. It's actually by a company called Flydream. And here it is, and it's also really nice. I'm very happy with this altimeter. The software's not quite as nice as the Ram 3 is, but it's still pretty good. Uh, the advantages of this, as you can see, it's a little lighter. So the Ram 3, the total thing, as you see it here, weighs about 3.8 grams. Uh, the Hobby King, as you see it here, this weighs about 2.8 grams, so it's very, very light, uh, which is really, really nice, okay? The other thing that's nice about it, as you can see, it's more compact than the other one. So I've been using, uh, you know, this in my wakes where the weight doesn't matter. They're all under 200 grams anyway, which is the minimum. Uh, however, this has been handy in some of the coupes uh, where I don't have that much room in the pylon, and it's a little bit more compact and it's a little lighter. Okay, so this is my RC system for rubber power. I've had great success with this so far. If anyone has any suggestions on any further improvements, I welcome that. And uh, I'm ready to go flying.